do is we're going to do our supine thoracic opposite side contact. Right? So, again, it doesn't matter which side I stand on. Opposite side contact just means I take my contact that's going to be behind the patient's back, and I come from the opposite side. Of, you know, I go around the side opposite of where I'm standing. Right? So, get myself positioned here. Again, because I'm doing flexion, I can keep the headpiece flexed up. I would roll the patient, and sometimes you want the patient to scoot a little bit away from you, your whole body. That's it. Then what I want to do is, again, this, whatever side I stand on, the, the far side is this side on the top, so I can use this as a lever. So I'm going to, as I pull here, I use his hip just to pull him around a little bit so I can get to the area. You palpate, again, find whatever level you're at. Again, go to whatever spinous, uh, whatever transverse you're going to go at based on the level. Remember, this is from T5 down. I'm not doing upper thoracic with this. You find whatever one would be in question. You go to inner space. Come out lateral, and take your tissue pull here, you're right in the center here, and uh, you want to instruct the patient, you have the patient curl your chin right up here, come up with me a little bit, rotate the patient, keep yourself tucked, once my hand hits, you, you know, you impulse, so you do your impulse. So that'd be flexion. Uh, as far as extension, you want to bring this down, you can scoot your whole body up a little bit higher. Everything looks almost identical. The only difference is, remember when we did flexion, now you'll see, you would see on the listing, now I would give you two levels with these supines. So you may see T6, T7. So if you have a flexion, you know you go to T6. If you have an extension, you go to T7. Right? Again, this patient scoots a little bit away. You roll the patient. So I would want to get up to seven. Right, so you, you do your palpating. You get to your seven. You take your tissue pull. Again, patient throws his head up towards me. He comes up. What I want the patient to do is once my hand hits here, he stay curled up towards me, and I feel him arch over, let your head go back. Once he does that, then I would impulse. And as he's going back to create extension. Why isn't it listed? It's not going to be listed like that with the prone ones? No, prone is just one level. Like, like, like supine, you tend because it may be a flexion or extension. And the prone and the supine ones are still staying at this, or the prone ones are still staying in the superior segment. But like the, these supine ones are, you go to the inferior versus the superior segment. And the inferior one is for extension? The inferior one will be for extension. Yeah. The superior one is for flexion. Uh, what else did we do? Well, we did the same side. So you can sit up to, at the table there. But this doesn't matter so much with the headpiece with this one because he's too far away to reach the headpiece anyway, so you don't be so concerned with the headpiece. Then patient scoots closer to you. You cross the patient's arms. Right, so if you were doing same side contact, and let's just say I'm doing flexion, he would tuck his chin, roll his body forward. You got to decide how you want to do this contact, whether you want to go like this, whether you want to go like this, whether you want to go like this. You know, that's really up to you, how you want to decide to do that, have control. So I'm going to go like this. So I'd find whatever one would be in question. But again, if it says, I don't know, let's just say it says T7, T8, I go on 7, take my contact, he can curl, bring myself down, my hand hits, I impulse, right, keeping him flexed. If I was doing extension, I drop down to the lower segment, bring him down, my hand hits, I feel him arch over, let your head go back, and I didn't pulse. Okay, extension. Right? That's all of them, right?